So I'm moving along with this day, and I'm thinking about just walking on my way. I keep moving along this day. That's a one day at a time. Sort of a homespun melody. Uh, and I, I, so I bet you can't name the singer of that song. To you. Well, I can. It's Willie Nelson. No, no, it's not Willie Nelson. It's not Merle Haggard. It's not George Jones. That is Charlie Manson. Uh, a lot of people may not know this about Charles Manson, the uh, cult leader, that he was uh, an aspiring singer-songwriter at one time and sang a lot of pretty songs. And the example that I'm, I'm bringing up here, the reason I'm bringing this up, is that megalomaniacal, narcissistic, cult-driven personalities who inside of them have the power to create chaos and perhaps provoke people to kill people have a very charming side and a very entertaining side if we could watch this montage. Hello, America. It's me, Captain Happy Pants. <laughs> Foreign policy in this one. <laughs> 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 Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. We're on a roll. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Mm, no. This show is completely schizophrenic. You see, what Glenn Beck is trying to do is he's trying to sort of appropriate uh, a, a tool that, that John Stewart uses, but John Stewart is not a megalomaniacal cult driven person. What Glenn Beck is, is he presenting himself, and we've talked about this before, as a sort of a populist clown, an, an everyman. And the thing is, is that he is exploding right now. His ratings on, on Fox News, he gets about 2.2 million viewers at 5 in the afternoon. That is more than any other host on the network. And I had no idea about this, that 1.3 million viewers watching at any given time is, uh, on Fox is more than twice of CNN or MSNBC. He is appealing to the marginalized whack jobs who are left over, the leftover believers of the Republican Revolution or the leftover believers of what America is supposed to be in their mind. He is pandering with his anger and his populism and his charm to the worst elements of this society. And he is provoking them to do shitty things. But he, he, he denies that. But I just don't, I don't think we should overlook the charm because it's happened in other incidences in history with fascists and megalomaniacal personalities. Let's take a look. Yeah, that, of course, uh, the very popular Adolf Hitler, who's uh, not so popular now. But there's probably a few that still really admire him for what he did. And I guarantee you they're watching Glenn Beck. The stuff he did with uh, Marx Brothers was hilarious. hilarious. What else we got on that little roll? Maybe, maybe you could tell me what you think of this set. Hmm. I like that. This, this may be the best of all. Oh, you dirty boy, you! Oh, oh! Donald, I thought you were a gentleman. Oh my God, that is wrong in so many ways. <laughs> I don't even know if that supports my thesis. I can't process. I, I that. mean, I, like that. I don't know if that's charm or vulnerability or just weird, <laughs> sexually weird stuff there on behalf of both of them. But that's, of course, famous fascist Rudy Giuliani in drag trying to appeal to. Uh, to parts of New York where he thought he was losing some traction. Do we have one more? Or is that Let the eagle soar like she's never soared before from rocky coast to golden shore. Let the mighty eagle soar. The best whack all conviction and the worst are filled with passion and intensity. That is Glenn Beck in a nutshell. The dude is dangerous. I don't know what we can do to stop it, but uh, I just thought I'd, I'd share those moments of, of charm and candor with fascist personalities.